Hey, what's up, Runny Nose Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today. I just feel like just showing something off for my collection. And what thing is that today? I'm going to show off these little Pokemon fruit squeeze things. Whenever I was in Japan, I picked these up. They had quite a few of them, but I got one Charmander and one Eevee to bring back for Virginia. They are a couple of her favorites right there. I haven't tried them. I'm definitely not trying them now. These are like a year old. Who knows if the stuff... I mean, it might still be good. I don't know. But, I mean, over in Japan, you can buy anything Pokemon. They have Pokemon literally on snack. They have everything. Tissues, mints... I'm pretty sure it's on some condams, too, if you really want to get super technical. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. As you can see and probably tell by the news, it's just getting fucking cold everywhere. And every time the weather drastically changes, my sinuses just decide to kick me in the fucking ass. And I, I it's hard. It's, I'm having a hard time right now. My head hurts. It, I'm a little sniffly. It, it's a little hard to talk. But I just want to talk about this stuff real quick because it was just on my mind. I want to throw it out there. So a lot of people lately have been talking about graded cards, myself included. I'm not here to crap on any major company or anything like that right now. Not, not too, too bad or anything. However, I do want to warrant a discussion where I say constantly in my videos that I do think eventually as more and more slip-ups happen or they're shown, whether it be on Reddit, you know, YouTube videos, people having personal instances they want to talk about. I mean, there's several things to think of where I, I think grading as a whole, people are already having a conversation. The conversation being, is grading still something that you should do? Is it worth it? There's people talking about, I mean, Poke Knowledge even dropped a video not that long ago. I think it was like a day ago or something like that. Talking about whether it was still a good idea for you to grade in 2024. It was a decent video. He was talking about it, but I like the opening where he basically said it's not a blanket statement anymore. You can't just fucking throw a Pokemon card at PSA, BGS, or CGC and be like, there you go. Fucking print me some money, big dog. It just doesn't work like that anymore. And I think a lot of people, a lot of average people, a lot of average collectors are going to have to start weighing things out here in a little bit. I really do think they're going to have to start really, really considering what cards are sending. Now, look. This is more for the average person. I know there's a lot of people here who make a good bit of money, whether that be from their actual job, whether it be from YouTube, whether it be from side hustles, an actual card store they have themselves. There's a lot of ways people actually make a decent amount of money here. And if they want to throw money, just large quantities of it at Pokemon cards, just throw them at PSA like fucking Frisbees and keep waiting until they get 10 after 10 after 10 and they can flip them that way. Hey, more power to you. I'm not really talking about that. I'm speaking from like an average person, okay? Like usually I have one copy of a card, I have a lot of good cards. I have a lot of cards that I am very proud of, but I have like one copy of them. I have maybe two copies of a couple of them here and there. Back in the day, some cards used to be cheaper. Like anything from Scarlet and Violet, I'll tell you right now, like I could probably replace them. I'm probably not going to do that. Like a lot of my SARs and things because I'm primarily a Japanese collector. Any of those cards, like I probably could get back with a couple of exceptions here or there. Dude, you start going too far back. I mean, even like early Sword and Shield, some of those like alternate art cards, those hyper rares that were floating around. Dude, I can't get those back. Like an Umbreon VMAX, I have one copy of that in Japanese. One fucking copy of the alternate art. And if that shit goes away, I'm not getting that card back, dude. Have you seen the price of that shit? You seen what people are actually buying that up for? And I, I just can't, I can't reason with myself seeing all the stuff that grading companies are getting. Look, I get it. They're bigger companies. They have a lot of cards. They go through a lot of stuff. They have probably too many cards going through them. That's part of the problem, in my personal opinion, with them, is they have so many cards fucking going in and out of them that it's very difficult for them to actually do any level of quality assurance unless they hire more people, which in this economy, not very feasible, not very profitable. So I'm not really going to fucking weigh in on that or anything but uh, just speaking from that i mean they they i think they need more people with that most recent fucking 10 like where they've got a, a psa fucking 10 crystal chart or not crystal uh fucking sorry that that delta species charizard had a fucking brain aneurysm the lightning type one i talked about where it was a psa 10 but it was clearly like a fucking one on the back of it and things like that cgc just dropping the ball and appearing to give people preferential treatment for certain cards even though you flip it over and it looks like kind of like you can spot stuff with the naked eye. That's not what a CGC 10 should be. That's not what a PSA 10 should be. It's not what a BGS 10 should be. BGS really ain't gotten in too much shit lately. Not ever since they did their one stunt a little bit back. I mean, the goofiest thing they do is they put cards and fucking things upside down. That's like the worst thing I've seen them do where it's kind of hilarious. And I guess they authenticate weird fucking signatures sometimes. That That's the weirdest thing I've seen BGS do. I haven't seen them do what PSA and CGC have been trying to outdo themselves like fucking jealous girlfriends trying to get some dude's attention it's just like for average people and this is where i'm going to kind of level with people about like where i think and this is the whole point of the video i don't think i ever fucking said it i personally think you should heavily weigh on grading look grading doesn't have the same goddamn effect anymore okay it's not the same thing you had like the fact videos like this 
even exist dude 2021 this video would not exist it would literally be videos about like grading every fucking card you have and how great grading is and how fucking feasible it is and how much money you're gonna make off grading because back in the day and up until kind of recently that was true you could make a ton of money off graded cards because of the flip the hype and all that other shit right it's dwindling man and it's only going to continue to dwindle as like more of this stuff starts coming out as an average person if you don't have just tons of money your best cards i'll give you an example a few of mine some of my fucking japanese floor trainers man my xy my fucking black and white my sun and moon dude there's no fucking way i'm sending those in i'm sorry it's nothing personal against like any of those grading companies i just don't fucking trust y'all man even if you do get the cards and everything goes fine there's like instances where their machine is like fucking getting the edges of cards i have mint cards i have like japanese mint cards that i hunted for back in 2018 2019 2020 looking for those hunting them and putting them in my binder man like i cannot replace those now if they get fucked up that's it i'm getting one of those cards back i'm like well that's fucking my paycheck that's that's where that shit's going and i'm just not doing that man so like if you're one of those people if you're an average person and you don't have tons of money just be throwing around that stuff all these videos you're seeing popping up about CGC where people are questioning all that shit about PSA popping up, BGS, the probability of grading, the actual possibility, the value being associated. Should you do it? Is it still worth it in 2024? The fact that these videos are starting to pop up and starting to circulate should give you a little bit of a clue that maybe you need to think about. I'm not telling you you're not going to make any money. I'm not telling you it's not going to be any good for you whatsoever. There's still going to be tons of cards and tons of people that enjoy grading. And look, if you genuinely enjoy it, go for it. I'm not here to deter you. But if you're someone new and you're just an average collector, man, your, your cards aren't going to look bad in a binder. They're not going to be sitting like that. If you're trying to move them, you're trying to flip them, that's a whole other fucking ball game, man. But if you're just a regular collector and you just want cards... Honestly, I, I'd recommend not grading at this point. I'd recommend not buying slabs unless you can get a deal. I do buy the occasional one from people that help me out and that I want to help them out too. And it's just, I, <laughs> I, I, you should really just think about it, man. That's the whole point of those videos. I'm not trying to fucking rip apart people's preferences on what they want to do. I'm not trying to tell people grading is fucking stupid. It's just, you, if you're going to spend your money places, if you're going to put shit into grading, you at least deserve to know, man, like what, what they can do to your stuff. You deserve to have everything laid out when you're making decisions. I mean, honestly, for new people, that's just a good thing too. Are your cards going to come back fine? Probably. But like, that is just, things are popping up a little bit more. I think that has to do with a lot of people sending in cards, a lot more people fucking sending massive quantities of cards in. And just, you know, employees not being as numerous as they probably should be for the quality control to be where it should be for these higher companies that you want to hold in high regard for their high number of values and all that stuff. That's all I got. That's all I want to say. Just think about it, man. Like, I, I cannot imagine sending my cards in there right this second. Like, God help somebody. God help somebody if I send in my fucking Japanese hex maniac and it came back anything less than a 10 and it had, like, some fucking damage on it. I swear to God, I would lose my shit. I would be done. And God help them if they told me like, oh, stop making videos about that stuff for this card that we messed up like they fucking did with that one guy. Dude, y'all got some nerve for that shit. Like that's some goofy goober stuff. I mean, what's he going to do for your reputation? Literally, what's he going to do for your reputation that like Cool Trainer Ryan isn't already doing with like the PSA 8 bullshit that he does every single time he like looks at a card. Oh, PSA 8. Because he, he uh, fucking, come on, dude. <laughs> Man, that, that's just goofy. It's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgins. Just something to think about. You're seeing a lot of videos popping up. There's a reason why.